there are two ways of backing up your IO coin wallet. The first one is simply by going to settings and clicking on backup wallet. At this point, you can name this file either wallet or wallet backup and simply just save it to your desktop documents. But I always recommend to having this backup on a USB device, external, uh, obviously. So that way, if in any case the computer was to have some issues with the hard drive, you will have this backup on a USB device. For this, we're just going to save it in the documents folder. And there's one right there. I'm just going to go ahead and save it right on top of it. So that's the number one way of backing up your IOCoin wallet. Now, there's another way of backing up your wallet. And when we back up the wallet, we're backing up the coins, right? The, which is what you're holding in the wallet. In this wallet, there is no coins, but we're going to make pretend that we have coins. So in this case, we're going to go to the second way of backing up this wallet. We're going to go ahead and try to get a target here or where this file is located. So we're going to go to properties, details, and as we can see, it says here, C, users, T, desktop. So what we're going to do here is basically retrieve our private keys or what we call a wallet dump. In order to do that, you can type help if you want to see all the different uh, calls that are in this wallet and we're going to be using this dump wallet RT right here. So what we're going to do is basically type dump wallet and then RT followed by um, if you have a locked um, wallet you would basically type in the password right there but since it's open we're just going to type the path. So it will be C users T and again this is my user this could be a different user for yourself and in here we're going to call this a wallet dump dot txt so for your computer you're going to have a different user um, name so that's what you're going to do so at this point we're just going to press enter and when that happens you basically get this file called the wallet dump. RT is for retro. If you do it without the RT, then it's not going to be retro. It's going to be like the latest, uh, basically, private key dump. Uh, either way, it's going to be fine. I prefer to do RT just because in the RT version, it actually shows you um, all the private keys, and you can actually read them. And then at this point, for this wallet, these are the private keys here. And that's going to be the end of the dump. This file would, at some point, um, save you for a catastrophic event that could happen with your hardware wallet. If that was to happen, you could just basically bring up a brand new wallet um, from scratch, download a bootstrap so that you could be um, on the latest block. And then at that point, you would use... Uh, right here this uh, call called import wallet RT and then you put the path press enter and that would bring in all your coins that were stored in your wallet dot that I want to thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one